Hey guys, welcome on my channel, I'm Hikoto, and nice to see you in this video where I will be reading your assumptions about me. I think this might be a cool idea to like make me go back to creating and posting on YouTube. <laughs> I was thinking a bit how I exactly want to see like whole my channel and I decided that I think the most important part is like me and my personality. Besides fact I am artist, I am that's myself. <laughs> so yeah, I decided it may be like cool, come back. <laughs> Not saying that maybe I didn't have any idea or something. <laughs> I have some ideas for videos, but let's go with the assumptions. Let's start with... Ah, I will be reading from my screen because obviously I'm recording from my phone, uh, so I don't have other choice. So let's start with my Patreon. Uh, Cold Black Idol 10 says I assume you need more than one cup of coffee to start your day. <laughs> to be honest, in past it used to be true. Uh, right now, I rather avoid drinking coffee as first thing in the morning. Maybe in last days I kind of fail. But to be honest, I never had like problems with waking up. I mean, besides times I was uh, teen, I was in school, when I was like sitting up all night, so... Later I was saying I, I'm feeling bad so I can go to school. But besides this, I, I never had like real problems to get up or to like be in state to be able to like go with my day, create and such. I drink a lot of coffee, but usually not as first thing in the morning anymore. <laughs> the Chalaxian said, you had to work to be this goth. No, I didn't. I am just myself. Uh, honestly, it's not hard because uh, like my parents are like metalheads and such, so from my childhood I used to see people around me who like dress like metalheads, more alternative. So to be honest, when I was teen I was more like into metalhead. I wouldn't say that I'm goth, it's more like into being metalhead. Mm, I like really gothic style, but to be honest, I think I prefer to mix styles, like I like some goth, some emo, some metalhead, some alternative. And so I didn't have to work to just myself. I am just really drawn into this kind of look. Also I just like uh, black clothes. <laughs> okay, let's go to my demand art. So let's see. Unicosmic Comet Corn. You really, really, really like having hotel. I do. I love Hasbin Hotel. I can't wait to see like proper episodes. I watched Pilot multiple times. I also watched Hell of a Boss. Uh, I really, I really enjoyed it. It was like a kind of like humor I like also like into this like demons and such themes. But also with those a lot of like fun comedy and such. Totally love it. I love it. Yes. Oi buddy. You've been to Puerto Rico once. I never was to Puerto Rico, uh, to be honest, on places outside Poland, I was mostly in Europe, I, I saw a lot of Europe countries, I was also in Pakistan, but I wasn't in any, any other like part of the world, but I would do like to see Puerto Rico, definitely, I love to travel. Dear Mure, that you are very edgy but in a good way. Honestly, I think so. To be honest, like sometimes I see people thinking like I am edgy in like this typical teenage way, uh, and some people like don't like it because like you are so old, why why you are so edgy like teen? Uh, but to be honest, I am just myself. I I always was like more alternative person. Like to be honest, I am quite loud person. Most of people didn't notice it because uh, because of my past I used to be like more quiet and in the back when I'm meeting people but when I'm feeling good I'm going to be loud and I'm going to be myself and I am weird <laughs> and I like it, I really love it. I think I'm angry but in this good way. Sunny Storm 9 You're emo. I could say I am emo like, I li really love this, like, style and aesthetic, but I am also, like, in this mental emo, like, life is suffering, I want to die and such. I am, I'm, I was like that most of my life. 
uh, I was typical emo, even with like self harm, hating everything, everyone. World is awful and such. Uh, nobody understands me. Now it's more like I have this like love for death and suffering. This love for these all bad things. And I guess I could say I'm emo. Squirrelly horrible. I assume you forgot to take your meds again. I don't forget to take my meds too often. I mean, if I forget, I take them like a few hours later and it's okay. It's not like I'm forgetting my meds. I just skip them on purpose. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> Local Grim Reaper 404. Well, I guess I can say that you are a very good horror artist. I find your art very abstract, in a good way. You also seem like a chill person and that's alright with me. I am really happy you think you are a good as horror artist and you like enjoy it all. And I think I can agree that I'm a really chill person. Like, it's quite hard to offend me because I don't take all these things like so seriously. I am not like this uh, snowflake who gets offended with everyone, probably because I'm too old for this. Mm. In my days, we were bullied <laughs> and nobody cried. I mean, we cried about this. <laughs> uh, but to be honest, um, I think it's really important to make fun and laugh of everything, at everything, at everyone. That's my point of view. If I feel offended by you, it's probably because I am like in this state of mind where I take stuff like to into myself uh, but I am um, but I would just say it like full on my mind and uh, in fact I also suffer from borderline so I, I myself sometimes really badly badly react to something but besides I think I am really chill person. If you could see me in real life with my husband, with his friends and those people around, you would see what I actually mean. Because we are laughing at everything, we are making a lot of inappropriate jokes. And I also take life really lightly when it comes to like heavy stuff which affects me. I'm trying to make fun of it, laugh of it, because I think that's the way of life. Vrakis. I don't really have an assumption about you, besides thinking you're an amazing artist and an equally amazing person. Oh, really, thank you. I am really glad that people actually think I am good at being artist, because that's really important for me. I am really glad that people like see me as an amazing person. Really, really nice. Crystal Wings X3. You play Roblox to keep your inner demons from getting out. I never played Roblox. Honestly, I'm not even sure about what is this game. Like, in my mind, it's like... It's, it's something like Minecraft, yeah? It's something like that. Honestly, I never played. <laughs> Michael John Morris. You are brave and strong. I really think so. I survived really awful, nasty things. And, like, this taught me that, like... You have to be strong to survive. I mean, probably my strength and stubbornness kept me alive. Queen Vain Bond. You're gay, that's it, that's everything. Yes, I'm bisexual. But I think I can say like I'm more into girls, but men are also fine. I'm just bisexual. Maybe a bit more into gay. <laughs> Avagiat37. You are a super cool person. Oh, thank you. I think I am a super cool person. <laughs> uh, just an artist97. You are a fan of the horror genre and that impair your artwork. Yes, yes. I totally agree with this. Uh, I was always into like horror and fantasy, all those, all those like dark stuff, supernatural stuff, occult stuff. Definitely, it is huge inspiration for me. Zack Writer93. I'm gonna assume you like coconuts. I can say I, I can say I quite like them. Maybe I'm not like huge fan of coconut, but 
It's okay. Reader of fate. My assumption. You're a very kind person that sees the world in a different way and expresses using art. You also either have or had cats. I never had cat, and I will probably never have because even though I really love cats, I think I could struggle to like connect with it because its stubbornness might like not go too good with my stubbornness. <laughs> I think I'm a really kind person, like and I see myself as really caring. I I really try to help other people like when are when they're feeling bad at least listen to them because i know even listening to someone some nice word is really important when someone needs it uh, and i definitely see world in different way and express it using art honestly i think that because of my past and my and how my mind works i can say that i am not too present in reality i am more like I live in my own world and I show this all through my art because like I don't know how to live in reality I know it might sound weird or something like we are in the reality how you can not be able to live in reality like I am in my mind I I really struggle to pay, at pay attention for reality like notice stuff around me which happens that isn't connected to myself so i guess that's true prince of airbrush i make no assumption but anyone as most times is wrong and people are always more complicated with different sides that you may not know in a short time or on internet so pay attention and learn over a long period of time then what you think is no longer an exception oh i totally agree with it really nice comment and i think it's true like making assumptions about people is fine as long as it's like game like this or if you are open to learn more about this person because we are often making assumptions about people and we might not want to meet them closer or we think like wrong things about them because we just thought so but to be honest, we didn't know them. So, yeah, I think that's a really good comment. 88k full ninja. I assume that you know darkness was better from Lily than Jack was. I think it's some creepy pasta, but I don't know what it's about. So sorry, I, I have no clue what you're talking about. Mango does art. My assumption. You have very strong and different viewpoints of the world. And your art is amazing. Actually, the last bit isn't an assumption. Is it true? Love your art. Have a nice day. Have a nice day too. Uh, thank you. I am really glad you like my art. And yes, I have really strong and different viewpoints on the world. And honestly, I don't talk about most of them online because how different they are. Because I am sure that some people would understand them wrong. Also, I don't want to get into fights with people like from different sides of world who have different viewpoints than me. To be honest, I have some deep thoughts about world and such. Sadly, many of them aren't too positive, like... Like my mind is quite twisted and the fact I'm quite cruel to characters in my artworks, I, some I sometimes think that people in reality should pay price for their actions in different way than it did in our reality. I think that's one of the my viewpoints. Also, I'm trying not to think too much about politics and such. I don't agree with a lot of things happening in the world. So yeah, I agree with you. Okay, and last will be Instagram. The Dragon Knight. I say you are strong and you have gone through a lot over the years and, you, and that you are a good friend. Thank you. I'm really happy that a lot of people see me as good friends. I'm really trying my best. To be honest, in real world, I didn't have too much experience with like friendship and especially this like good long time friendships, like these true ones. <laughs> I agree. I've gone through a lot and I think that made me strong because I see that a lot of my strength 
comes from like overcoming so many things in the past that it makes me really really strong person right now for example i am not like scared to be myself to look like myself because in comparison to my past it's nothing i don't care what, pe what people think about me and i am proudly going to live my life i'm not going to give up because of my past i know i can survive really really horrible things and I never give up. Mike Morris Art, you are a very strong and brave woman. Thank you a lot. <laughs> yes, as I said, I, I really see myself as strong and brave person. A lot of people mentioning it like I am talking a lot about my struggles and how I'm overcoming them. Because even when I'm, my posts are like more a saying that stuff is really going awful, I'm trying to like show that even though it's all happening, I'm going forward. I might sometimes be afraid afraid of the future, but it's not going to stop me, because I know no matter what's going to happen, I will overcome it. I am sure about it. Jackster Art. You draw what you see in your dreams or maybe nightmares? Honestly, my drawings are quite different uh, than what I dream about or I have in my nightmares, because my dreams and nightmares are often connected a lot in to reality while stuff i'm drawing is more like stuff i saw in my mind or with my eyes because i mean it sounds like i'm kind of crazy but i'm sometimes seeing or feeling things but it's like in reality i don't say it actually exists but it's like for more real side for me because my dreams or nightmares are often connected to my past and things connected to my more personal life like family and such i quite rarely take inspiration from my dreams uh, maybe when it comes to like atmosphere when it comes to like this darkness eerie like nightmarish feel it can be from my dream but besides this it's more like from my imagination stuff uh, just came up in my mind I'm, i mean i just randomly got some ideas in my mind and it's like hmm i like it it's dark it's morbid let's go <laughs> the arena fight very sensual and into a lot of death stuff oh yes i am very sensual <laughs> Uh, and yes, I am into a lot of death stuff. For me, like, words of senses, it's really important in many parts of my life. And about being into death stuff, wanna see my collection of bones and dead bags? I can show if you will ask nicely. <laughs> if you want, I can show, really. I also have, like, some, like, um, decorative skulls and such. I really love death stuff <laughs> and that's all <laughs> okay really really thank you for leaving all those uh, comments with your assumptions it was really a pleasure to read them it was really a lot of fun <laughs> and it's really nice to see like a lot of you like see me as this strong brave woman who is like herself and cool artist and such thank you a lot <laughs> i mean that was really, really nice. <laughs> I had a lot of fun and I hope this video will allow us to like go back for real to recording. I even put tripod. I wasn't putting like my ring light because there is really nice sun right now. Uh, I mean, I'm in kind of shade, shadow, but uh, I think like lighting is quite good right now. So yeah, I even put makeup for you. I mean, I put it for myself because I'm feeling great today and I want it like be my dream self. And here I am. I'm perfect version of myself. <laughs> okay, huge, huge thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank everyone who like liked my stuff uh, for all the comments, follows, subscriptions, whatever it comes on whatever platform. I am super, super grateful for all your support, really. Uh, I also want to thank all my Patreons all people who donate me on coffee, all people who commission me, 
and everyone who buys stuff with my uh, artwork on all those print on demand sites. Especially that lately, I'm not quite happy that they are putting all those fees on those sites. It's like, hmm, will I make any money from this? Because it looks like your fees will be more than I'm making here. <laughs> But yeah, I am really grateful for any efforts you give me. We are almost on 200 subscribers on my channel. I am really happy about this. I'm feeling great, so I really hope to be back for real. So thank you again. I hope you enjoyed, really. And see you soon. Bye!